Mania, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. The oracle card spread is what we do on is what I do on YouTube. It is an intuitive reading, not a horoscope. So it can be applied to wherever Gemini influences your natal chart for whatever time you see this. I've stopped um, I've stopped putting dates on my videos because um, I've realized that people are watching videos from months ago and still relating to them. So they come to you when they're supposed to come to you, but it, this energy will last about a week, a week and a half when, from whenever you see it. Um, please know that I do make a new Gemini video every single week, however. So if you want the videos fresh off the press, please do subscribe to the channel, help the channel grow and get your videos as soon as I upload them um, by clicking that notification bell. So let's get into your reading. Remember, there's always an extended reading. There's always a tarot card reading that articulates dives a little bit deeper and personalizes the reading we start with on YouTube. And that includes a romance reading always as well. Ooh, Gemini energy. Gemini energy, Gemini. Hmm. A little bit of melancholy a little bit of doing something that's right even if it's hard a little bit of nostalgia looking back interesting that that's the mentality after retrograde has gone direct mercury has gone direct your ruling planet but lots of times the shadow period the next 10 days could be the most intense open to infinite possibilities, but this it's coming up upside down. So essentially, um, five plus nine is 14 change. Uh, what you want attention for or what catches your attention has shifted. It's almost shifted from being the star to putting the star and making the star shine on somebody else. There's an energy of, um, emotional attachment and connection of not necessarily wanting a lot of changes or opportunities to come at you right now being quiet it's like it's like you're in a quiet space this is aquarius energy um and where is aquarius now aquarius no where is aquarius now um what is an aquarius now mercury is in aquarius now there's a conscientiousness that sort of activated something inside of you that is is creating that sense of nostalgia and that sense of um, speaking up for or speaking in defense of somebody else, using what you have to promote or give gifts to others, but it wouldn't be just general others. It would be somebody that you already really care about. It's like you want the focus to be on somebody that you love a great deal. It could be a child, it could be a best friend, it could be a lover. It could even just be somebody that you admire and you want the world to pay more notice to them. This is using whatever charisma you have or whatever influence you have to um, light their flame or to shine the light on them, like take the spotlight from yourself to somebody else. Time to let go and surrender now. These are both energies uh, happening simultaneously. Um, the energy of something that's stabilizing you to let go, it's, it's hurting you to let go. This is a difficult time for you. Um, like I said, it's not necessarily a bad feeling. This, this is the energy, the energy that I'm getting, and this may not be your situation, but understand the energy of the metaphor. Um, Gemini, this is like you um, being sad, your child is, you, you're watching your child leave for college. And it's not a sad moment, it's a happy moment. You know, there's wonderful things happening, nothing bad is happening to them, but it's sad because, like, this stage in your life is going away. So, it, you may not even have a child, you may be 20 years old, you, you know, you may not even have a, a significant other right now, but there's a sense of something shifting in your life that you're happy is moving on, you're happy you're moving away from, but simultaneously, you, um, it's hurting. 
it's sad and you've been seeing it coming or knowing that it's been coming for a while and every little day was another goodbye and now the final goodbye is here surrender now just let it go like a moth to a flame let it go dive right in um um dive right into that flame this is cap uh, this is sagittarius energy so it's an interesting kind of energy for between you and Sagittarius. It's this sense of, you know, one could, air could feed the fire, the sense of your, your sensibility to know how to talk to individuals could fuel Sagittarius's ability to be able to always gather groups of people around them and talk to the crowd, you know, um, uh, certainly, and this could be maybe you're helping somebody out, maybe you're helping, but like I said, you're helping gather a crowd around somebody else. And maybe it's making you remember a time in your life when this was all happening to you. There's, there's a sense of realizing that um, almost like seeing your dreams coming true through somebody else. But not in a bad way, in a way that you're you're proud, you're actually happy. It's not it's not something that you're you're mad about. Um, it's just a little bit melancholy. Let's get into this. Act as if, yeah, um, just fake it till you make it. Sort of going along with the flow right now, pretending that you're okay when maybe you're not, or just sort of trying to blend in, not stand out so that somebody else could simultaneously have the spotlight. You're trying to blend, maybe you're trying to duck, maybe you're trying to, but I don't think it's nefarious. I think it's, it, I think it's simply that you're trying to not be the star here. You're trying to not be the one that everybody comes to and everybody runs to. You want the focus on either um, you, you want to focus people's attention on, on somebody else or something else. Set healthy boundaries is, is your central energy. This is Cancerian energy of being burdened, feeling a great deal of burden, a great deal of responsibility, and maybe taking too much on yourself, Gemini. So if you feel uh, heavy, it's because of all these emotions and these standards or um, um, obligations that you've set for yourself. You're taking a lot more on you than you normally would because you care and love somebody so much. This is the energy of pure and true unconditional love. This is heart healing your heart, making your heart happy. See over here, it's like time to let go. Something is gnawing on your heart and, um, and, and, and hurting, right? And it's almost like you want to burn, to burn it off, to burn the hurt away and pretend like nothing is happening, but it's almost like people could see how hurt you are on the outside. They could see the burden in your eyes. They could see how heavy this is weighing on you, even though, even though it's almost like you're acting like it's not. Um, but, but hey, you know what? This is also energy of taking care of somebody because this is Cancerian energy, giving your full self to the protection and love of somebody else. This is unconditional love. Um, so you are never alone. Oh, you could be experiencing somebody doing this for you. Like this could be, this all could be happening to you. Somebody giving you the best and shining the light on you. There is always enough. There's enough to go around. There's a sense of finally learning that you don't, it doesn't have to be one or the other. You can share the spotlight and still shine as bright. This is Piscean energy, a lot of emotions, or you're sharing each other's emotions. The two of you have the same feelings for each other. Um, um, it's more than just you that's being emotional. So there is an emotional connection here, a psychic connection, this energy of maybe falling in love really, really quickly like Pisceans are known to do, but it's mutable energy. So it's changing and it's shifting. And there's a sense, there's an essence of going with the flow and being really open and receptive and really social. So maybe being loved by many or healed by many or healing many. But I think this is more still very more, more intimate than that, I want to say. Um, but there's a lot of this, this uh, mutable energy. There's, there's, there's uh, Sagittarius and Pisces here. Hmm. Water and fire. A lot of feeling and a lot of passion, Gemini. Hmm. More Cancerian energy. 
And this is like the King of Cups. This is emotional stability for me. Six plus two is eight. Slow and steady wins the race. That's your pace. This is like breathe because that's this is the only way you're going to get through this. Both of these energies are swimming in the emotions, learning how to feel safe and secure in the emotions, being at, being at one and whole with the emotions. This is, this is sort of just accepting the emotions and this is like going with the flow. Um, don't push yourself. Don't rush yourself. Take it slow or you wanting things to slow down so that you don't have to, so that the hurt kind of decreases. Um, um, like I said, this isn't something terrible happening. Make your dreams real. This is the energy of awakening and spell casting, sort of creating the future, designing your future or designing somebody else's future. This is coming together. Love is being made. Love is in the air. Wow. Maybe somebody not, not telling you or hiding their emotions from you, having hid their emotions for you for a while, or you having hid your emotions from somebody for a long time, basically because um, you weren't ready. You weren't ready. And you weren't sure that there was any possibility or potential with this person. But now you may ma be making plans to... Um, set a trap for them. But, <laughs> that sounds really horrible. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, keeping something secret, trying to make something look like it isn't something else, trying sort of to cover up um, something that's hidden. Um, so what I'm looking at here is this is Piscean energy to turn knowledge into wisdom. It's almost like you're covertly trying to collect information so that you can build the right argument or build the right conversation or know somebody well enough to have these, these conversations with them in order to break down walls and break through and get a desired result. And this is know your path. So uh, the energy of nine, something to coming to a head, being realized, something, something being realized, somebody realizing that it's either you or them, somebody realizing that whoever was hiding out out, collecting this information um they they're finally realizing you they're finally seeing they're finally basically understanding your plans and your designs or their plans and their designs are are coming out into the open um once again i i see spider which can be very manipulative and poisonous toxic energy uh, I see the, the moon card, Pisces card, um, the, the wolf card, which can be very uh, kind of shady or hidden or aggressive energy. I see the skunk card, which is trying to cover up stink in a flowers. Know your worth, though. So this is all to... But I honestly don't feel any sort of, like I said, nefarious or, 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 or malicious vibe to this. I just see that something is, has been in motion and, and it has been under wraps that you haven't been wanting to share or wanting to come out. And now it's coming out. It's just being discovered. This could be discovering somebody has been watching you online, this, this discover, but it wouldn't be like, oh God, that person wants me. It would be like, why didn't they just tell me? I don't understand. This is somebody who um, is very defensive. Like there's a lot of Cancerian energy here. I'm not saying you're dealing with a Cancerian. Let me tell you what that means is that their Cancerians are um, notorious for not being able to make the first move because Cancerians and Scorpios especially do not, they don't ever want to be vulnerable. So sometimes they don't, they, lots of times they hold back their feelings and they don't say what they want to say. They don't communicate it. And then they get angry because they're like, well, why didn't you know what I was feeling? And as a water sign, they expect you to just know because they could just know they could feel other people's feelings without saying them, but that's not how everybody communicates. And there's all that rigmarole and like like chasing your tail that happens between air signs and water signs. It that's just the natural flow of things. It's like the water sign thinks they're they're behaving nor okay, and the air sign doesn't think so. Um, or the water sign thinks the air sign is behaving too cold when the air sign's just fucking saying what they feel. <laughs> and like like and it it just goes around like a dog chasing its tail and it can make everybody involved complete i just saw 444 so the angels are surrounding us trying to give us stability and balance this is a sense of 
uh, finally uh, trying to figure out how to speak to somebody that doesn't speak your language. So it's like any kind of intel that they were collecting, they're admiring you. And this is not somebody that you'd be upset finding out that they're admiring you. Like you want their attention. It's almost like you want their attention. But somebody doesn't want to be seen. Remember the energy I was saying? You just don't want to be seen. You want the attention and focus to be on somebody else. Well, it could be their energy as well. Is that they don't want to be seen. But they can't take their eyes off you. They're being defensive. But they're still very loving. It's not... This is not an energy of malice being planned or plotted. This is admiration, but awkwardness of not knowing how to communicate what you feel. Um, so it could be you, it could be them. Shoot, it could be the both of you. But this is definitely energy of, of not being ready to be exposed. So, like it's gnawing at somebody's heart. They want to throw themselves in, but they're still hiding. There's a challenge here. There's a, a, a tension. There's a tension, um, you know, of, of, of internal tension of between what this person wants and what they're ready to allow. Hold on. Let me turn the camera around so we can review the cards. So... Here you go. And this is what I'm talking about. This is all like hiding, waiting, setting a trap, ambush predator, hiding out, trying to cover up. But it's an energy of know your worth. Know that you're beautiful as well. You know, turn knowledge into wisdom. What you know, using it to, to, to understand, not just to manipulate, not to get one over on, but to actually understand it's like somebody is seeing somebody else's value. They're finally understanding the true value of this individual by putting pieces together. And they're trying to make connections. They're trying to make a network, like use what they're learning to build a network, build even bridges between one and the other. Now, you could be doing this for a community purpose. This could have nothing to do with love. This, I don't think it's have to do with work. Because this is more about the care of, the protection of, the giving to, the uh, taking hold, like uh, taking responsibility for the health, the happiness of, of somebody else. Because this is definitely the energy of love. Whether it's um, community love, big love, or one-on-one -on -one love, this is an energy of just wanting the best for somebody, but not necessarily knowing how to go about um, showing them that. Because something's been bothering you. Time to let go and surrender now. Surrender. You know, the, you know what you're being called to do? Stop hiding. Come out of hiding because it's too burdensome. These boundaries here are, they're bad boundaries because they're not healthy. Set healthy boundaries. Armadillo comes out because look at central energy. Is, it's weighing me down too much. It's burdensome. Gemini, it's time to just let it out. Speak. Say. This is the moment. Mercury is going direct. This is the time. It's like, I understand that things have been jumbled and it wasn't a good time to communicate. You're overburdening yourself now. You're holding too much in or you're dealing with somebody who's holding too much in and it's hurting. And I feel like this person is going to have to have to almost crash and burn and basically explode before they finally open up. Because like, that's usually what it takes when there's this Cancerian energy of just deciding, insisting on holding back and withdrawing until it gets so bad and things start, you know, and then, and then things start really being um, terrible. And then you're like, well, but I, I didn't really mean that. You know, that kind of energy. Say what you need to say now. Come out of that shell. Set healthy boundaries. And sometimes healthy boundaries are no boundaries at all. You know, it's, it's when, when do you just put a screen door in and when do you build another great wall of China? This is like putting heavy armor on like, like a great wall of China when you don't need it. It's like, it's time to take it off and just be, admit to your emotions, say what you say, what you are, it's say what you feel, right? There's this energy of maybe it, it's staining or tainting or a, a tarnished reputation that we've been talking about for a while that has basically suppressed you and almost made you not comfortable being who you are. This is you coming back. 
Let's go over to the extended. I want to see what Tarot has to say. And you're going to get your romance reading as well. That link is in the description box below, uh, Gemini. I'll see you guys over there.